Hello and welcome to Science for Juniors with me, S R K, and here is my lab assistant Binny. Hello, friends. Oh, hi, Professor. Binny, where did you go? I was here only, Professor, right next to you. What happened? I didn't see you. Anyway, old age sight. I'm telling you right now, you have problem with eyesight. It's high time now. You should retire. <laughs> Binny, hey, by the way, this reminds me. What is the result of your eye test? You went for some eye checkup yesterday, right? It's all fine, Professor. I might get reading glasses. Reports will come in two days. Hmm. On that visionary note, would you like to know more about visual challenges and impairment? Yes, of course, Professor. In fact, I was going to ask you about the same. Okay. Let's enter the world of science for that. Meera has come across an unusual book. This book has the pages filled with raised dots that seem to be written in a certain pattern. Her grandpa tells Meera that it's a braille book. This book enables visually impaired people to read. What is this technique that helps visually impaired to read and write? Let's learn about visual impairment and the abilities that assist them. In this module on visual impairment, where we study what does it mean to be visually impaired or visually challenged? What are the different types of aids that assist visually challenged? What is the Braille system and how does it help visually challenged people to read? Grandpa tells Mira that people who cannot see or those who have a low vision are known as visually impaired. Some people are born without any vision, that is, they are visually impaired by birth. While others may lose their vision due to some illness or disease. Let's see how it feels to be unable to see while we move. Mira is blindfolded. She is asked to find a way to the toy cupboard. Blindfolded Mira tries to touch and feel the things around her as she moves forward towards her toy cupboard. Similarly, visually impaired people try to feel things around while they walk slowly and cautiously. The visually impaired compensate for the loss of sight by using other senses such as touch, hearing and sense of smell. There are many aids available to assist the visually impaired. Like these spectacles. They are bifocal lenses that help see better. Contact lenses and magnifiers assist people with low vision to see better. Since all these aids help in improving the vision, they are known as visual aids. Then there are auditory aids like this talking calculator, a talking watch and a talking computer. These aids use the sense of hearing. Then there are some aids that use the sense of touch at the fingertips. Like this special book. It has its pages embedded with raised dots known as braille dots. Each of these dots are written so as to form special characters which can further form words, sentences and pictures also. Visually impaired read using such special book. Such a book is known as a braille book. Since braille book uses the sense of touch or tactile sense, it is also called a tactile aid.
you know, more than 40,000 people a year suffer eye injuries while playing sports. What? Yes, Binny. Oh, so there is no safety of eyes. Neither while studying nor while playing. Haha, <laughs> anyways, your eyes are pretty safe so we can go ahead. My eyes are pretty and safe. <laughs> yes, Binny, they are. Anyway, let's enter the virtual world and know more about Braille Book. Mira is trying to feel the pages on the Braille Book. She is curious to know how one can read by touching the pages with dots embedded in them. The Braille system is a special code of 63 dot patterns or characters. Dots are arranged in cells of two columns of three dots each. Each pattern of dots represents an alphabet or a number, which further are combined to form words, sentences and even pictures. This reads cat and this is topper. Oh, wow! Oh, it would be very difficult for someone to read like this. Right? Yes, Binny, it is. Oh, I feel bad. As we have so much and still we find excuses to study. And somebody, even after being physically challenged, is studying. Oh, my cute little princess, don't be emotional. That's life. And what are you saying you find excuses for not studying? <laughs> no, not that way. Haha, <laughs> anyway, it's too much of a mood change. We have to do something interesting. Want to play games? Games? Here? No, not here. Let's enter the virtual world for that. Let's play some games and that too blindfolded. All the children but for the leader are blindfolded. The players are to follow the leader's commands when he says, Simon says, hop. Or, Simon says, turn. Or, Simon says, sit. And they should not follow his command in case he simply says, hop or turn or sit. Whosoever fails to follow this rule is out of the game. So the players have to listen very carefully. The fun learning activity is aimed at improving the auditory senses of the visually impaired. The next game now, there are all mixed up objects of two shapes, spherical and box shaped. The players are blindfolded. They see their hands to feel the shape of the objects and sort them out into the two baskets and that too within a specified time limit. This activity is aimed at improving tactile senses of a visually impaired. And now the final challenge. These are few small closed containers with a small cotton balls in them. Each cotton ball has been added with few drops of different aromatic liquids like of vinegar, perfume, lemon, ghee etc. The blindfolded players have to guess the liquid, that too by smelling them. This learning activity aims at sharpening the sense of smell in the visually impaired. Teaching and learning sessions of visually impaired at schools are full of such learning activities aimed at developing the various senses of touch, hearing and smell.
seems like um chocolate. <gasps> Yay! Thank you, Professor. I'll go home and Google more such activities. Yeah, but you won't get a chocolate every time. Professor, can visually challenged people use computer? Good question. Let me answer that in our Do You Know segment. Do you know, Binny, that visually challenged people can also use the computer? Computers can be programmed with special software and hardware. Applications such as screen readers can be used. With this, computer can read aloud the text on the screen in the documents or the menu options. But what if they want to write something? There are also special keyboards with braille lettering embossed on every key. These keyboards can allow a visually challenged person to type text. In fact, there are browsers that help visually challenged people access the internet. They have screen magnifiers, screen readers, voice recognition and other technologies. If this is the case, I think a visually challenged person can also live independently. Yes, developments in technology have made all these things possible. It's time to revise what we have learned today. Let's have a quick recap. In this module, we learnt that visually challenged people either have very limited vision or no vision at all. Visually challenged people use various aids to perform certain tasks. The Braille system helps visually challenged people to read and write. It's now time for me to say goodbye as I and my young assistant Binny leave you to explore more in the world of science. Bye!